On Drop Rate is a series all about testing my luck. Each episode I will pick one or multiple activities to do and one specific unique to get from those activities. But there is a twist. I am only able to do this activity until I am exactly on Drop Rate. Kill 5000 Listen Men Shamans to get a Dragon Warhammer. Defeat 512 Venonares to achieve a Treasonous Ring or loot 300 Rifts to obtain an Abyssal Needle are all ideas going by this rule. To spice it up even further, if I manage to get the item within the limited attempts, I get to keep everything I earned including the unique item. If I do not get it however, I have to forfeit half of all the money I earned during the grind to one of you guys, the viewers. But now, let's get into the video. What is going on guys, welcome to another episode of the On Drop Rate series. In the last one of course, we took on the Elder Chaos Druids. And we did get some items on the collection log, but we did not win the challenge, meaning I am giving away 10 million in this video in just a second. But in this one, we're going to be killing Rune Dragons. This is a good money maker, a lot of people do this for money. So there is some nice potential here, and the item we're going for is the Dragon Limbs. These are 1 in 800, but killing 800 Rune Dragons can be pretty time consuming but that is why I've made some investments. I have bought two very important items for this grind and the first one is the Dragon Hunter Lance and the other one you can see already in my inventory, a Dragon Warhammer. Now together these are really good to kill the Rune Dragons but they are also worth a lot of money, 127 million almost together. But of course we can make some money from this grind hopefully and then sell these back and hopefully not lose too much money. Now for the last week's giveaway for the 10 million we had 415 entries and let's go ahead and roll the winner right here. The winner for the 10 million giveaway is going to be Dillion Oikel I think and his in-game name is Goblin Giant so congratulations to you for winning 10 million GP. And of course here is the trade of the 10 million to Goblin Giant so enjoy all that money and thank you for supporting the content. Let's kick off the grind with missing a Dragon Warhammer. Can I get one actual hit in? Oh my god, that's a big one. 70. It doesn't really matter how much you hit with a Dragon Warhammer. It always reduces the defense by 30%. And with the Dragon Hunter Lance, you can see how much I'm shredding this. But I'm also getting absolutely destroyed. I was actually thinking about maybe going with Justiciar, but uh, it costs some money, so I don't know if I want to invest in that right now. Of course, I can always sell it back, but I will probably do the first trip here, 55, and that was a max hit. I will probably do this trip right here and just see how it goes, and if I take too much damage for uh, how many kills I get per trip and stuff like that, if the trips are, trips are pretty short, then I will try something else, but uh, first kill is going to be... Runite Bar and Dragon Bones. So a very standard drop. I actually think that was a nothing drop because I think both of those items are guaranteed. It's not a very good start. Honestly getting absolutely shredded using Bandle's gear. I love seeing the massive hits but uh, I do think ultimately for the uh, length of this grind it's probably better to have a bit more relaxed and slightly less damage. So I'm just going to go ahead and sell maybe something I don't really use. Maybe the Saradom and God Sword for my bank and just buy Justy with it instead. It is a really good set to have. I don't know, do people like the look of this? Because I really do, and look at these defense bonuses, like 300 plus and everything, so I should be a lot tankier. With Vandos, I got 5 kills in one trip, which is not very good, so let's see the difference with this gear instead. I mean, you just can't argue with that. I mean, 15, it's going to go to 16 after this one if I don't die. That means 11 kills in one trip, that is more than double, and I can feel that I'm taking way less damage, so this is definitely the setup I'm going for for the rest of the video. Oh my god! Elite Clue Scroll, you might be thinking that's actually not that rare, but it's 1 in 300. And of course killing 300 rune dragons is pretty slow. Wow, that is nice, let's go ahead and do it. Oh no. Uh, I wanted to try to just stay one more kill. That's what I get. Yo, that was so fast. Oh my god. All the loot is on the screen right now. This grind is already over. 116 kills and we actually made almost 5 million in just 116 kills. I'm not sure how many kills that was an hour, but I would guess around 30 kills an hour. So I've probably been, maybe it's a bit more actually, like 35-40 kills an hour. I think I've been here for roughly 3 hours to get this. That is, wow, that was really quick. I guess we might as well just open the elite casket right away. So let's go ahead and do that. And the loot is going to be worth 70k. The uh, average elite clue scroll, I guess. 
I mean, now that I already have this set up, I kind of want to make this into the dragon episode, I guess. So we're going to be killing ancient wyverns. We're going to be killing 600 of them, and it uses pretty much the same setup. The only thing I changed is that I changed the insulated boots into the guardian boots. I swapped into a ring of suffering, just overall more tanky. And we're going to be killing 600 of them for the granite sword. A very weird item, it's not worth a lot. But there is the granite boots on the same drop rate, which is actually worth 1 million, so could be pretty interesting of a grind. Man, these guys are massive, look at them. I've actually barely killed these, like, ever, so it's going to be very interesting to see how hard they are. What? Oh my god, wait, do I have to be on a slayer task? I'm pretty sure I have seen people kill these off slayer tasks. Maybe there's like another area or something. I guess this might be the Slayer Cave where you actually kill them. So let me look it up. This is the location right here. I am about to fight them in the dungeon. And it actually is kind of close to a bank. I wonder if it's closer than running to the Slayer Dungeon. I am going to assume it slightly is. So that is a good thing. But there are, I think, only two of them inside here. And you have to run all the way into the end of the dungeon. So you have to run quite a bit through these dragons or the wyverns, I should say. And of course, these do drop the wyvern bones, which are worth like 3k each. So regardless, I'm going to be making some money from just that. And also the alkyballs and like Raynar seeds you can get from these are pretty good. I see they do share some of the items with the normal skeletal wyverns. So hopefully it's going to be a good amount of money in general. Now, if I would be comparing these to the rune dragons, I do think I kill these slightly faster. So doing the 600 kills is not going to be all too bad. It's probably going to be like an overall of 10 hours maybe killing these, maybe a bit less. But also, these have a skeletal visage you can get, which is a 1 in 10,000. So of course, I do not expect to get it, but that is like 25 million. So if I'm really lucky, I could get that and not get the granite sword, which would be quite something. This ancient wyvern right here is kill number 100. What is it going to give us? Air battle staves, that's not a bad drop. And the overall loot I've got so far is on the screen right now. The majority coming from the onyx ball tips, the wyvern bones, and the rainar seeds. And the overall loot is 2.2 million, which is not that bad. Meaning if we go all the way to 600, then I will make over 10 million, which is pretty nice. Oh, wait, no way. I just got a rune spear. I don't have a ring of wealth on me. Let me actually check how rare that is. I have the rare drop table right here. That is a 1 in 8918. So almost 1 in 9k. That's almost as rare as actually getting the Vyvern Visage. Unfortunate and sad to see. Elite Clue Scroll. That is actually even more rare from these than the Rune Dragons, but not much more rare. It's 1 in 350 and the Rune Dragons were 1 in 300, but uh, we're like 260 kills in and we get one, so we're slightly lucky on that one. So I'm standing here in the wilderness with a rolling pin equipped, which uh, I didn't even know existed. That's how I roll. And uh, I got this step. I have to have the Pharaoh soundtrack. And of course I don't have it, but I do not want to throw away this. And I have been planning on doing some quests anyways, and I need to do Beneath Cursed Sand, which is a pretty big quest, to be able to get this song. But I'm going to do it, I am not going to show it in this video, but I will record it for another video. Maybe you've already seen that video, I'm not sure. But I will complete this step and I will open the clue scroll, so I'm not throwing this away. The song has been obtained, let's play it and complete that step, and hopefully I can now complete the rest of the steps. Oh wow, another elite. I feel like this always happens when I get a rare drop of an elite clue scroll or something. I always come back, done like 20 kills, and I get another one. Hey, We get the granite longsword, it's only worth 20k. And I think we're like 310 kills in or something. The entire loot I've got so far is on the screen right now. Wow, we won both the Rune Dragon Challenge, getting the Dragon Limbs very early. And we got the Granite Longsword halfway on the drop rate. So we have been lucky this video, but I guess we have some clue scrolls to open. Alright, so we have two of them. Let's go ahead and open these Elite Caskets right away. What are we going to get? The first one is 91k. And the second one is... Oh, a Mimic! Nice! That was a while ago. Overall, I've now killed four Mimics. You can see that in the chat right there. I actually just didn't want to re-gear, so kind of a slow kill with Justy, but uh, let's go ahead and open, see what we're going to be getting. Any Third Age? 
I think it's 1 in 200. Oh, that is yeah, not very good. Now, before we end the video, I do want to say I've actually made a clan. So if you want to come and join that, you can actually join the Discord and we will get you in that way. Or you can just apply. Meanwhile, I am online on world 465. Search for the clan Alone Zone and I will have invites open as soon as I possibly log on. So if I'm on online, I will try to accept you and I just invite anyone that wants to join. So just a heads up that we do now have a clan. But with that, that is going to conclude this video of a bit of a dragon themed episode with the rune dragons and the viverns. Overall in this video I made a good amount of money, close to the 10 million mark. And unfortunately there is no giveaway for this video because I did win both the challenges. But that's how it goes sometimes. I do hope you guys did enjoy the video nonetheless. And the next episode is number 20, meaning we're going to be hunting for a pet. I will not spoil which one, but it's going to be a big grind. And I hope to see you there, so until next time guys, take care.